Okay, we're heading south on Highway 75 now, approaching 121st Street exit. At this exit, if you continue going east, you'll go into Sepulpa, which is the county seat of Creek County. Or if you go west, that brings you into uh, Jinx slash Bixby. Um, at this exit, you have a Walmart Supercenter, you've got a Starbucks, you've got a few restaurants, uh, you've got a Quick Trip, which is our beloved gas station, you've got um, a Taco Bueno, you've got a bank, a McDonald's, an IHOP, Whataburger. So um, just general quick food places, a couple of sit-down restaurants, and some shopping. Um, and then we're going to go west at this intersection. Okay, from that intersection at Highway 75 and 121st Street, you go about a mile west on this little two-lane country road, and you'll see it starts to open up where we've had some recent housing development. Right now, these are all older 70s and 60s even uh, ranch-style homes on large acreage. It's actually a pretty peaceful drive. Okay, this is where it starts getting into some of the newer developments and we're approaching a four-way stop at Elwood which is where we'll turn back south. Okay now we're headed south on Elwood. We're gonna go about a mile to 131st Street and then we're going to go back east so this is still technically Jinx here, but the further south we get, and then even more east, it becomes Bixby. And again, uh, just lots of older country type properties on acreage on this two lane highway. So 131st Street doesn't go all the way through to 75. That's why you have to get off on 121st and then, uh, and then go south to 131st on Elwood. Okay, now we're approaching the stop sign at 131st Street. We have some churches and uh, some type of business over there. We've got a pharmacy here. We're still pretty rural. Not a lot out here. We're going to go east now onto 131st. We're going to take this for about 2.7 miles and then we're going to turn right into the neighborhood. Okay, still headed west. We're at the intersection of Peoria and 131st. We have um, Remington, which is a new housing development coming here. And this is, I believe that's all Yorktown still here. Yorktown is a very large subdivision that's just been going up over the last three years or so. And we're still heading west. Um, that's Manchester. We're still heading west on 131st Street. Over here, I think we have a large estate, a big ranch, or um, let's see. Yeah, a big private residence here. subdivisions on this side. That one is the Bridges Ave coming to the and again more private estates over here. The horse stables and ponds. Alright, we're about four tenths of a mile now away from the entrance. And again lots of newer neighborhoods over here. start to see the neighborhood off to the right.
okay, I believe if we go straight, it ends at dead ending. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn back and go in this direction. the community features which are amazing and this is the reason why I love this subdivision so much for people with uh, with kids especially so we've got the splash pad here and we've got the fully stocked pond here that you're allowed to fish on we have a 2,000 square foot clubhouse here which can be rented out for parties and whatnot. Swimming pool is here. And let's see if I can get a better angle here. We have another park area here. We have um, the trails here, the trails run throughout. And off in the distance, we have a basketball court that's fully lighted for evening play. I can get a view of that. It's off in the distance there. Okay, now let's go to the house. I'm going to show you how to get to the house from the community area. Take a right here on 20th Street. Take a right on 132nd place south, and you'll see the house on our right almost immediately. <laughs> 